We see teams every year dig out of big salary cap holes. Um, the other teams not, don't do it as well. Uh, uh, and a lot of fans like to say the salary cap is is fake, so to speak, in terms of what it means in terms of handcuffing a franchise. How much are some of these franchises that are in real cap trouble, the Saints say, how easy is it for them to dig out? How much is it a case-by-case basis? How much should, should fans who hear their teams in big trouble worry? Or how much should they, should they think that there are mechanisms that teams can get out of trouble with relative ease? So I, I think when you look at the teams, you just kind of have to look at, um, you know, where they're kind of set up for the future. Uh, you know, for a team like the Saints, they've already mortgaged their future. So, I mean, they, they won't have any problems getting under the cap. Uh, the question is just going to be, is there a point where it catches up with them, which you you would imagine will have to happen in the future. Uh, you know, you look at a team like the Falcons, for example, the, the Falcons were a mess last year with the cap uh, that's carried over to this year. Um, you know, so I, I think you try and look at teams in two year windows and you see, can you take a, a lot of pain now? And does that kind of save you in the future? Or do you end up like a team like the Falcons where you really have to deal with a salary cap crunch for at least two seasons? So let's look at the the Super Bowl champions now, the Los Angeles Rams, who, Jason, looks like they've mastered the art of mortgaging the future uh, for the now in terms of moves that they have made. But let's look at that two-year window for them. Is there a way or a route for them to, quote-unquote, run it back with a number of their free agents and their guys in a one-year window next year? And does that catch up to them in 2023 now when you look at their cap situation? So they'll be fine if they if they want to run it back. Um, you know they'll be able to run it back, very similar to what the Buccaneers did. Um, but you know, as you can see from the Buccaneers ranking uh, for the way that we looked at it, Buccaneers are kind of in a little bit of a pickle this year. So I, I think when you you take a look at the Rams and you would say, well, they could do it that way. You know, do Von Miller on like a one year deal with a bunch of void years and stuff like that in there. Um, you know, they, they just have to kind of weigh that uh, because you're also going to have Stafford that's going to look for an extension, um, if not this summer. Uh, certainly next year, he's going to be a free agent. So, um, you know, they'd have to look at that. So I think they can run it back. I think they'll be OK running it back. But I think that they'll probably be cautious with it, just knowing that they have a couple of things they have to deal with, um, especially at the quarterback position in 2024. 